Welcome to the annual 2018 Dumbest Scammers Award, where I give prizes to especially dumb scammers for this year's stupidity. And we start as usual with the Geography Award, given to someone who has no idea about anything in the place they're supposed to be located. This year's criminal mastermind is from MSSoftwares.com and he claimed that he was from Manchester in England, a city most famous for its two big soccer clubs. Yes, definitely I'm not from Singapore, not from Manchester. Okay? Well, you I said you were in I'm Manchester from... a few minutes ago. No, no, no. I told you that I'm from Philippines, okay? But we, we do work, okay? We do have office in UK, USA and but Singapore. Where are you? Okay? Where are you? We're in Manchester. You just said I'm not from Manchester. I told you, sir, right now, okay? Right. Our headquarters in Manchester, okay? Right, but where are you sitting? Are you sitting in the headquarters or are you somewhere else? Uh, I'm sitting in UK headquarters. So you are in Manchester? Yes. Okay, what what football teams play in Manchester? A pardon? What football teams? What football teams? I can show that you're not in Manchester because you know nothing about Manchester. What football teams, what football teams play in Manchester? Blue and, blue and red, sir. Yeah, but what's the names of those football teams? Uh, pardon? What are the names of those football teams? You're looking it up on the internet. I can hear you typing. No, it's it. If you lived in Manchester, you would know this immediately. Now you're sir, having wait, to Google um, it. Uh, no, no, sir. I'm not... Pardon? You're having to Google which football teams play in Manchester. So the one is the Red Devils. What's the name of the football team? So it's not in my... Sir, we... I don't want to play football. I don't have interest in a football, okay? Right, but if you lived in Manchester, you would know everything about it. No, sir, it doesn't seem to be, okay, because, you know, we, we, we are the junior, okay, and uh, no matter... Right. And, and, uh, Name me one okay. street in Manchester. Uh, pardon? Name me one let's street let's in let's hand. Let's I mean, you, you have can, an address you there, surely, you could you name it. You can tell me, sir, you can tell me, okay, if you think like that, okay, that uh, it's not... You're changing one, okay? the subject, you can, I'm just you, you can proving to you that you, I, I, you don't live in no, Manchester, sir, and you're making that up. It, it, is, it is not in my mic. It is not. It we can't provide you any personal information. Okay, we we are not here to take any of the. Uh, you we, we are not well, here to talk I'm anything else. I'm showing else you're lying. Computer. You're lying to me, though. Okay. I'm not lying to you, sir. If you feel like that I'm lying to you, you can hang up the call. Well, I for one am completely convinced that that guy really was in Manchester, and I'd just forgotten the names of those football teams and streets. And so to our next award, it goes for spelling. It is vital, if you're a scammer, that when you type something out, it has to spell correctly so that your victim is totally convinced that they've got some sort of virus. Sadly, when you're typing dir slash s, you can't always see what you're typing, so you get a few spelling mistakes. Let's start with a few worthy runners-up. Okay, so I'm going to run a diagnosis here, which will take a couple of minutes. You have to just bear with me, okay? okay. Yeah, sure. We need to find out the root cause of the problem so that we can, you know, remove and this kind of... Okay, okay it expired. Mm. Alright, uh, Orson, can you please have a look right here? Okay, and your phone is also connected with the same network as well? Uh, yeah, we'd be, yeah. Sir, look at you what I found in your computer. It's a Trojan and hacking problem for me here. Trojan hacking? What? Uh... Yeah, let, let me highlight it for you. Trojan and hacking problem found. Mm. Mm. 
So all very worthy candidates from Geek Chance, Supremo Innovations, Tech Live Connect, and GeekWeb. But I think a worthy winner has to be Cognitive Media Solutions, whose only job was to type out three things, and they got all three things wrong. Now, sir, can you see over there? Your software warranty has expired. Can you see that? Uh, software warranty, E E D. Um, right, software warranty, E D E D. Right, your software is not. Your software is not responding to any of the internal or external command. Right. by any of your antivirus. Can you see? Your software is not recognized with any of the internal or external command. That means that this is the reason why any of your antivirus or security programs are not working. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. Because whenever they are trying to detect any problem from your computer, and you can see there are some problems in your mother sheet as well. All right? Do you know what mother sheet is? I've never heard of mother sheet. No, what's mother sheet? The brain of the mo uh, mother, uh, the brain of the computer by which the computer works is the motherboard, and the programming part of the mother sheet, uh, programming part of the computer of motherboard is the mother sheet. All right, and you can see over there your computer's firewall has got crashed, sir, and your computer is getting hacked from Colorado. There are some people from Colorado who are hacking your computer, all right? Oh, so now C I'll be providing you the... Is that the hack jet from yes, the CO star? Oh, oh it's disappeared. All right, oh, Colorado, oh. sir. Oh. So now, sir, I'll be providing you the warranty plans. Okay. And needless to say, I signed up for those warranty plans, what with that brilliant spelling, and hackers from Colorado. And our next award is for software innovation. Scamming organizations just don't get enough credit for creating software which allows people to scan their systems for viruses and make sure the old firewall's okay. And all of this in just a few bytes of software. Amazing. Uh, uh, oh. Right, well, can I, can I just ask you, because when I did run this, it was talking about network access protection. I thought I would challenge this guy as to why he put this completely fake software on my desktop. Yes, hardware, software, diagnostic, web browser. They, they all take exactly the same amount of time to run. It's it's kind of strange. No, let me tell you about it. This is the file we created for you. when we install a network security on a computer. So that was the program for on the time when we install the network security on a computer. Right. It would almost look as if it was doing something like this, almost as if it was like a, a compressed batch file that just yes. echoed yes. information and timed mm -hmm. for a couple of seconds and then echoed something else. It almost looks as if yes. it isn't doing anything at all. So we already installed this file on your computer when we installed network security. Right. That's why okay. we, we left this, yeah. Okay. So you, can, you do not need to. You do not need to run, run this application. Run this file every time. Yeah, but it doesn't look like it does anything. In Sorry? fact, it looks like it deliberately misleads. In fact, it's outright lying. There's no misleading, sir. Well, I've decompiled your binary, and this is what the program does. Mm -hmm. So, Peter, why would you do this? You've come very quiet. And I just, I'd, I'd like someone to I explain it to me. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I will explain it for you. Just wait for a moment. Okay, this will be good. Uh, are you going to get someone else to explain this? Hello, Peter. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm just wondering what you're doing. No, I'm just discussing this concern with my supervisor. Okay, just wait okay. for a moment. Okay, who's your supervisor? 
This guy is so dumb, he's worthy of a second award. The Telling the Time Award. Thank you, Mr. Ingolain. Hello there, hi. Yeah. Hi, I discussed this concern with my supervisor, but my supervisor is still busy on the different call. Right. So he told me that he will call you back within the next five or ten minutes. Will that be fine? Um, Peter, can I just check who you work for? It's Vortex IT Solution LLC. And whereabouts are you based? Where are you sitting? Yeah, Fremont, California. Mm, okay. Are, are you lying about that? Sorry? No. I, I don't mean your headquarters. I mean where you are sitting at the moment, Peter. Yeah, head office. Let me tell you about the head office in Delaware, New York, New uh -huh. London Road. If you want a proper address, I will, I will, pro I will provide you. Okay. New okay. London Road, Delaware, New York. Okay. Yeah. And this is our head office. And right now we are in California, Fremont, California. So I'm not trying you. Well, well, what time is it in Fremont, California right now? I mean, if, if you really were Fremont, there, you, yeah, if you really were there, you'd answer that pretty quickly. Instead, I think you're having to look it up. Peter, I think you're looking it up now because you're not really no, there, are I'm you? Not so what time is it? Hello, Peter. Is that a difficult yes, question? Yes. Is that a difficult no, question no. to answer? No. Right. So why are you taking so long? 9.54. 9.54? No. Yeah. No, nine, not 9. 11.54. Oh, 11.54. That took an awful long time to look up. Um, it makes me think you're not really there. Mm -hmm. it, it makes me think the time is actually about 25 past midnight in Gargan. Are, are you sure you're not lying about this, Peter? I, I mean, we know your real name isn't Peter either. We'll leave Peter there to wonder what hit him and we'll move on to our final award for 2018. It's the Marketing Award and there can only be one winner here and it's Tech Yogi IT Solutions. Tech Yogi, or rather their scamming division called Supremo Innovations, who I exposed earlier this year, link in the description, had the bright idea of marketing themselves on YouTube. But they went on the cheap and used Biteable.com to produce their video and I thought I'd have a go at an alternative version of their marketing video. Here's mine. So it just remains for me to thank everybody for watching my channel during 2018 and hopefully 2019 will be an equally eventful year. I particularly want to thank those of you who are my patrons on Patreon. And again, thanks for watching the video. Catch me on Twitter at JimBrowning11 and see you in the new year.